Coming to the Park Theater on Friday, November 28th is jazz virtuoso Elizabeth Shepard. The widely known vocalist and pianist is currently on tour supporting her new album, The Signal, which released this September. Tickets are $30 at the door or $25 in advance and can be purchased from the Park Theater online at jazzwinpig.com or by phone at 204-989-4656 or in person at the Jazz Winnipeg offices located at 7100 Arthur Street. Don't miss the music on Friday, November 28th when Elizabeth Shepard takes to the stage at the Park Theater. Presented by Jazz Winnipeg and proudly supported by 101.5 UMFM. Garnering critical acclaim, gaining steam and moving bodies on the dance floor, Canadian electronic producer and DJ Ryan Hemsworth brings a Sucker for Punishment tour to Union Sound Hall on Wednesday, November 26th, featuring material from debut full-length Guilt Trips. Hemsworth made a name for himself by remixing other acts, but his album shows he has a vision of his own and a sound like no other. Advanced tickets to join the crowd on the dance floor are only $15, plus fees, and are available now at Music Trader, The Urban Bakery, and online at ticketweb.ca. So get in on the action and catch Ryan Hemsworth live at Union Sound Hall on Wednesday, November 26th, presented by Tom Bray Concerts and proudly supported by 101.5 EOMFM. Locked into 101.5 UMFM. This is DJ Dialogue, and beside me we have the one and only Kilma. What's up, guys? Yeah, you're locked in Mixed Dropless every Friday night, 11 o'clock to 1 in the morning. Brand new time slot in the last two weeks. We got a lot of stuff to go through this week, and Kilma's got some brand new joints. She's gonna rock for you guys. You wanna say some quick shout outs, real quick? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Let's give some shout-outs to Adam Scott, uh, Dave Rad, Tim Woodman, Lisa, David Jordan, uh, Carmen, Serotonin, and my sweet baby, Sean. Word up. So for the next two hours, Kim was going to be rocking it. We're going to get on the air, talk a little bit. Call us up, 204-269-8636. Say what's up. And we're going to do this proper, y'all. All All right, stay tuned. Kim in the mix, y'all. Yeah.
You're locked into Mixtropolis. Special guest Kilma in the house. Hey, yeah, what's up, guys? Yeah, hopefully you're feeling good. Oh, Friday yeah. night. Gotta send mad shouts to Dave Rad, locked in. My homeboy Diego Herrera, Angry Rabbit Records, about to drop an EP with us. So, how you feeling, Kilma? I am feeling pretty damn good. How about yourself? I'm doing good, and I'm glad that we finally got you up in here today. Yeah, yeah, it's good vibes in here. Word up. So as you know, we're going to be talking a little bit, probably in about 15 minutes, get Kilma on the mic and have her explain about a whole bunch of stuff she's doing, her views, and we want you to call in 204-269-8636 if you have anything you want to know. Any questions? Yeah, call in, don't be shy. We want to hear from you guys, so enjoy the music, y'all. 204-269-8636 is the number to call. Mixtropolis is the name of this show. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,
We couldn't have done it without you. UMFM's third annual listener funding drive, pledge rama is in the books, and the support was overwhelming and heartwarming. The money we've raised will go into station operations, ensuring you'll continue to get the great programming you love year-round and allow us to make improvements and take new steps in serving this wonderful community. You came through for UMFM, and we can't thank you enough. But here's one more attempt. Thank you for supporting UMFM. It's not a secret that the best coffee on campus can be found at Degrees. But maybe you didn't know that Degrees Coffee is locally sourced and fair trade. Plus, all our containers are environmentally friendly, green products so you can enjoy your coffee in good conscience. Plus, Degrees has a large selection of teas and matcha for when you want a warm drink. Get your Degrees fix daily on the third floor of University Centre, open 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday to Friday, and 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturdays. Monday, November 10th, Jill Barber will be bringing her distinctive voice and broad range of musical styles to the West End Cultural Center. Ranging from traditional country to jazz to Motown, Barber puts on a diverse show that should not be missed. The music starts at 8 and tickets are $40 at the door or $35 in advance online at jazzwinnipeg.com by phone at 204-989-4656 or in person at the Jazz Winnipeg offices, located at 7100 Arthur Street. Catch the fantastic Sean Tu's Jill Barber at the West End Cultural Center on Monday, November 10th, presented by Jazz Winnipeg and proudly supported by 101.5 UMFM. The Winnipeg Folk Festival and the Park Theatre are thrilled to present the return of Jen Grant and Matthew Barber to the Park Theatre on Thursday, November 13th. They're both exceptionally talented artists, and to have either one performing would be a treat. To have them both? Well, it doesn't get much better than that. Jen Grant has an eclectic stage presence and warm, engaging demeanor. Her iridescent voice and boundless performance will leave you breathless. While Matthew Barber's music is inspired largely by the great songwriters of the 20th century North American folk, blues, rock and roll, and country tradition. Show starts at 8 p.m. on Thursday, November 13th, and tickets are only $17. Available at Ticketmaster, the Park Theatre, and Winnipeg Folk Festival Music Store. Don't miss Jen Grant and Matthew Barber at the Park Theatre on Thursday, November 13th. Proudly supported by UMFM 101.5. Hi, this is Premier Greg Selinger, and you're listening to 101.5 UM-FM. What up, world? You're locked in to 101.5 UMFM. This is DJ Dialogue, and we have a special guest in the house. Kilma, what's up, guys? Yeah, so hopefully everybody's feeling good, starting the week off, weekend off right. And this is the first official guest DJ, Kilma, 200th episode of Mixtropolis, man. And I got to say, when I started Mixtropolis... Y'all know me from Hip Hop 101 Days, but I've moved on, and I can't believe 200 episodes later, officially tonight, that we're still doing it, and we moved on to the tech house and techno scene. And that's why we bring you to today's show, and I couldn't believe it, man, when I was locked in online, and my homeboy, Mr. Wu, big shouts to him, I am Architect, repping Angry Rabbit Records, Gendemic, put me on to a Ustream channel called The Basement Sessions, and the one and only Kilma mm-hmm. was holding it down. Yeah. So I said, she definitely has to come through Mixtropolis and bless the city, and I'm really glad you're here. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Word up. And, and I can't believe throughout the years of Winnipeg and, and the amount of people here, we got a small community. And we'd never really met before. Yeah, it's crazy how that works out, hey? 
but it's all good because things are coming together now. Yeah. I just wanted to, uh, before we start talking, I want to test something out real quick. Yo, Dave, you there, man? I I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> it might. Crossing my fingers. Okay, it didn't work, but we're going to let everybody know. Big shouts to my man Dave Rad. He's repping Winnipeg hard, and he's going to be throwing an event tomorrow night over at the Pyramid Cabaret. He's featuring DJ U.S. Marshall, Nathan Zan, and of course, Dave Rad, and I think Kilma. Not tomorrow. I'm babysitting tomorrow. Responsibilities. But yes, back to house. Always a wicked time at the Pyramid. Let them know about it. Yes, uh, Back to House is all about getting back to house music, real house music, all across the board. Got some tech, got some funk in there. Just a good vibe tribe all up in that place. So you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, He does it sometimes a couple times a month or once a month, but uh, it's been a while. So you guys should definitely check it out while you get the chance. Word up, and I definitely say that as certified. So (laughs) check that out. So let's get into the history of Kilma. Yes. Because for myself, being in the hip-hop scene and, and popping up here and there at events, going through doing Avenue, being at the Masonic Temple, um, hitting up different places and being thrown in the mix with a bunch of other DJs, I just want to know your history a little bit. So so let Winnipeg know and the rest of the world. Yeah, for sure. So... Um, yeah, back in the day, I was a drum and bass DJ, DJ Swats, and I play lots of uh, party music, lots of loud, crazy drum and bass. I started dabbling into dubstep, and I eventually progressed into a lot of house and techno music, and by that time, everybody knew Swat as a drum and bass DJ, so I was like, okay, I gotta rebrand, I gotta cut the cord, I gotta do something totally fresh and new, and uh, I came up with Kilma because she's like this jungle girl, and she's badass, and it's actually this like old, crazy 60s movie, and um, right. yeah, I just love the concept, so I started playing around, I was like, don't kill my vibe, kill my tempo, and I was like, yeah, Kilma works, I love it, and I just made sure that when it came out with this new brand that it was just super fresh and different and uh, definitely approach the scene quite differently this time around. So, yeah. So what would you say um, is the difference, let's say, within the last 10 years within Winnipeg's hip-hop, or not hip-hop scene. <laughs> See, I'm still stuck in that mode. Yeah. But within the whole house scene and, and everything from drum and bass on. Okay, so actually I have a really interesting story about this because I, uh, I don't know, I think the scene is a really interesting place, there's lots of different music, we promote plur, peace, love, unity, respect, right? And uh, it's a very drug-influenced scene, and uh, people don't realize that when they're younger and they're looking for acceptance in the scene, they tend to go for the rave scene because it is very accepting and loving and... Uh, so people can get kind of confused about what kind of music they like and what kind of person they are. And as they grow throughout the years, I think that they really start to find themselves and develop their taste in music. So, you know, they're, obviously EDM is getting more and more popular in the scenes nowadays. But I think that as things progress, a lot of the people that are into a lot of this, like Big Room and Electro, will probably do a lot of the stuff I did and end up checking out house and techno music and all these different sub-genres of genres of other (laughs) sub-genres. She's working hard over (laughs) here. I'm trying to get the next track set up for you guys. Uh, Yeah, so I kind of forgot your question and rambled on. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. So as far as um, I found you rocking the basement session, so tell me how that all created. Because in Winnipeg, the one thing I notice with people is there's the DJs, producers that do a lot of stuff on the DL, don't get a lot of exposure as far as going out unless they have opportunities from other people that pick them up and reach out and bring them outside of the city. So what made you decide that you were going to take care of that and let them know about what the Basement Sessions is all about and the format that you're doing? Yeah, for sure. So the Basement Sessions is this live... 
video recording um, on Ustream.tv. It's really cool and interactive, and I get to get a bunch of different local DJs come down. I also have guest DJs from all over the world. We've got guys from Mexico and Costa Rica, and we've got... um, Ah, oh, what's her name? Casey Lane from Singapore. We got people all over the U.S. and Canada um, guest hosting these shows. So the idea originally was, okay, I got to keep practicing. I got to keep putting myself out there. How am I going to do this in a way that... It's not just local, it's all over the place and I can make friends and get to know more of my local scene because I was in drum and bass so I didn't know a lot of house and techno DJs personally in the city so it's an opportunity to make new friends, promote myself and you live in Winnipeg, you know how cold it is here. So it was kind of an excuse to keep myself busy on the weekends (laughs) because I mean I live out in Island Lake so it's super far away from everything you're snowed in you know what I'm going to DJ I'm going to enjoy myself on the radio show and uh, hell it's been doing really really well we've got over 10,000 views Uh, we're almost at 200 subscribers Uh, yeah yeah Um, and yeah it's just a really wicked way to promote yourself and make friends and have fun what up so you said that's every saturday night every saturday um sometimes they do in the afternoon or in the evening uh it depends what's going on sometimes they like to do some stuff before an event um sometimes you know i just want to hang out in the afternoon and do a show so yeah it's flexible but it's it's uh it's on saturdays and people can watch back and check it out later if they want to. All right, what up? who are some of the cats that you had on the show so far? Oh, that is a good question. <laughs> okay, so I've had Alex Ridley. I've had Adam Scott. He's actually my resident DJ, and he's super cool, awesome, old school uh, house DJ. Uh, who else? I've had Dave Rad. I have had Alexander. Oh my goodness, I, I'm embarrassed. and can't remember how to say his last good. name. Uh, yeah, shit. I did not uh, think about who all I've had on the show. I've had loads of different Winnipeg DJs. Just go to kelmamusic.com and it'll just go right to the Ustream and you can check out all of them. Uh, MC Pacona, Sly Skeeta. Uh, and it's really cool because we get to have a wide range of artists. We don't just stay with house and techno. We do breaks, we do some more chilled out dubstep so it's all over the place word up and uh, i definitely appreciate that because there's not enough people in winnipeg that are actually going out and doing it so big ups to you for for making that happen i think that people just don't always know how to right so they just need some guidance um or they might be scared like what if i do this the wrong way so yeah uh thank you Word up. And you were talking about branding earlier. I wanted you just to let, um, if you had some advice for Winnipeg, people that are trying to make music and trying to, obviously, because there's a lot more access to technology, new equipment and everything like that. um, what, What would be some advice to those cats that are trying to come up? and especially even networking with people. Yeah, for sure. Um, When I was first trying to get myself out there, I remember asking Freaky Flow, like, how do I get booked out of town? How do we... And he was talking about, like, press kits and sending out promo CDs. And now it's so easy to just, like, send your mix out to uh, promoters. So uh, as far as, like, promoting yourself, I think that it's important to be creative and different and, you know, not doing what everybody else is doing or if you see something that someone's doing that you dig pull from that but kind of make it your own or do it a little bit better um i definitely think that branding is super important because a lot of times people don't really know like what does my name mean what am i about what's important to me i made that mistake when i uh, first got into the scene i didn't really know like who i am and what i like to really play and uh You can be pulled into so many different directions when you have so many different people influencing you. So I think that you just need to be true to yourself, become curious and take in all the knowledge that you can so that you can be yourself, be that brand and get people excited about it. Word up. That's some knowledge, y'all. So (laughs) I hope you're paying attention and um, definitely take the advice because it, it definitely means a lot. Is there anything else while we got you on UMFM yeah. that you'd like to talk about? Actually, you had a couple questions you said that, that <laughs> people hit you up with. Yeah, I had some interesting ones. Um, well, I kind of already answered the why is Kilma so great, which is 
like there we go yeah the Kilma character that I pulled it from was this old 60 movies and it was uh, this girl on this island and she ran the island with uh, other women and then sometimes men would like show up in spacesuits. It it's a really weird movie if you like Barbarella just those like weird weird freaking movies it's like that it's awesome um the other one was have i ever experienced paranormal activity um i don't think so this one time when i was like i don't know 11 or 12 i played with a ouija board with some friends i didn't know what it was and then i went home and i was like mom i played with a ouija board today and she's like don't do it it's evil and i was totally freaked out and never touched it again so yeah so now the aliens are following you they're watching over you (laughs) (laughs) they're shouting big up kilma yeah what up well i don't know it's uh 12 20 right now how do you feel about bumping some more music yeah i could definitely do that yeah Uh, i'd be down (laughs) all right so before we get back into music real quick for all the people listening right now let them know how to get a hold of you yeah, so actually it's super easy. <laughs> you can Google me. Um, yeah, that's easy. <laughs> you can go yeah. to don'tkillmavibe.com. You can leave comments. Uh, my email is breaks at killmamusic.com. You can hit me up on Facebook, just K-I-L-M-A. Um, either you're going to find the fan page or you're going to find Kilma Tempo, which is my personal page. Shoot me a message. Say what's up. Uh, yeah, let's see how we can work together. All right, word up. Well, we definitely want to welcome you to the Mixtropolis family. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. So, Me too. live and direct from Winnipeg, Manitoba, y'all. I got to send mad shouts to Mariska out there listening, tuning in. And of course, here we go Kilma live on Mixtropolis, 204 269 8636. Hit us up, y'all. Peace.
You guys are listening to Kilma in the Mix, Metropolis. Let's do this, y'all.
up, guys? You're listening to Kill My Love in the Mix on 101.5 UMFM, and this is Mixtropolis, hosted by Dialogue.
about it Mixtropolis I want to say big big shouts and major applause to Kilma <laughs> thank you very much and I gotta say we just finished talking and we have an OG in the house she's been <laughs> all over let them know where you played at oh yeah uh, I guess I've been a few places in the states all over Canada I actually did a little mini tour in Costa Rica at the beginning of this year which is really cool because that's when I launched the new brand Kilma so we're better than in the Amazon that's right that's the way to do it yeah, yeah. So what do you got planned for the next couple months in 2015? Let them know. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so I um, actually run a creative marketing class. Um, it's called Brand Me Silly. I used to run it with Tweeden Online. You should check him out, TweedenOnline.com. He's like the social media genius of Winnipeg. Word up. Um, but he's actually going on in this new endeavor in Shanghai to run Claws. Um, it's like this 3D print company for nails, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so for me, <laughs> uh, we were running this brand new silly class. It's a creative marketing class to help people 
brand themselves and strengthen uh, their fan base and just like, approach marketing in a more creative, fun way that isn't spamming, right? Like, more interactive way with their fans. Listen up, listen up Winnipeg, listen up. <laughs> yeah, so uh, now that he's leaving, um, I'm actually offering one-on-one sessions. So if you think you might be interested in it, it's super inexpensive. Uh, and you can just email me at beats at killmymusic.com. Just kind of let me know about your brand and what your goals are. And we can kind of establish where it is we might go with that brand. So, yeah, it's really exciting. I love it. It's so much fun. And people, like, they give us so much great feedback. Actually, Carousel uh, was doing the course earlier and uh, now she's she's moved off and she's doing other things but she did so well with it she decided to move it out of the city and that's big keep, things yeah no she's super wicked and talented so definitely check out DJ Carousel and they can check you play next yes oh actually tomorrow on the basement sessions with JR uh, we're gonna be running things from about 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. just Right. Chilling. So yeah, definitely check that out. And all my gigs are posted on the website. So you can always check that out. Check out the articles I read about all these fun and interesting and controversial things. So I wish we had more time. Yeah. And we, we're definitely going to have to do this again, Kilma. Because yes. it was really special. And uh, you can catch all the information that Kilma's doing on through my social media stuff as well DJ Dialogue D-I-A-L-O-G on Facebook and Twitter if you're following me and we're going to be getting a bunch of stuff set up as far as the Dialogue Facebook page and the Mixtropolis stuff I'm going to be taking a lesson from Kilma. Yes! Oh, you'll do wicked. Needed. Yeah. And uh, stay tuned for the Angry Rabbit record stuff coming up. Big shouts to my man, Mr. Wu. Big shouts to Francois Manzo, Diego Herrera, Dave Rad, of course, out there, Nathan Zan. And uh, check out tomorrow night at Pyramid Cabaret for DJ US Marshall. He's going to be rocking it. Should be good, man. Oh, support it's be wicked. Support Winnipeg's scene, man, because you guys, together, we can move mountains, man, and definitely want to see more of that, and that's what we're doing here at Mixtropolis as well, so big shout out to you, Kilma. Oh, big shout out to you too, man. You're a wonderful host. Thank you very much. <laughs> I try. It's been many years. Doing great. In the works, man. So, um, as far as that, we out. Check uh, next week. We got Agent Orange NYC calling up from New York City. And then after that, we have my homeboy, Alex. He's going to be doing a podcast. And then the week after that, my homeboy, Felix and Luca Friganese from Italy. Going to be live and direct on the phone lines. And they're doing a set. So nonstop for the next couple weeks here on Mixtropolis. Much love to Tech Noise himself. And my man, I am Architect. You want to say some final shouts, Kilma? Oh, yeah. Don'tkillavibe.com and hit me up and let's be friends. Don't be shy. Yeah, share the love, (laughs) y'all. I do. I love you guys. So thanks for listening and we're going to have this up for download later, hey? So you can check it out. We'll make it available for y'all. So keep in touch with us and we'll definitely be there for you. Yes. Peace and love to you guys. Have a good weekend, y'all. Stay safe. Cheers. Peace.
more lying for you, for you. Words so sweet, no, not for you. Warning, the following may contain naughty words or ideas. If that makes you nervous, check back with us later.